Hi, Alan from World Acupuncture here again and I'm uh, providing the third part of a three-part answer for Ella's um, uh, very incisive uh, forum post uh, regarding uh, blood stagnation and the use of various liver and gallbladder points. The last part of the question, uh, Ella asks, uh, when uh, or how do I make a decision, how would I make a decision regarding the tonification of points such as liver 8, liver 3 or liver 1. Okay, uh, liver 8 is the water point, so from that perspective I'm looking to increase the coolant, uh, if I'm looking to uh, uh, generate and increase the, the, the fluid content of the uh, liver blood then this, was, this would be the point that I would choose. Uh, it has a very strong, powerful cooling effect and, and by increasing uh, the fluids. We usually will use this point liver 8 when we're tonifying in conjunction with kidney 10. Now in regards to liver 3 and the tonification of liver 3, liver 3 being the earth point, um, I would consider it to be extremely relative in tonification uh, uh, of the digestion. So, uh, one of the common ways we would tonify what we call liver yang deficiency or a deficiency of both the yang and the yin qi of the liver blood which basically means initially there was insufficient fluid and then as a result of there being insufficient fluid to carry the yang qi around there also uh, became insufficient yang. Perhaps a hemorrhaging or bleeding or post-operative surgery would give the most incisive acute example of this condition. In that respect I would uh, tend to use the uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, the uh, earth source point of the kidney and liver channels. Uh, kidney 3 and liver 3. This would be a tonification technique. Um, uh, the technique used when we're looking to tonify the liver yang qi is usually a very superficial and in some cases contact needling when the person's energy is very weak. As the person's health uh, becomes more robust, it's possible to needle a little deeper in liver 3 and um, uh, have, uh, the response being less yang, so there's a more uh, of a mellow response. The depth of needling I find um, is extremely relative to the effect uh, that the treatment has. And liver 1. Uh, tonifying liver 1, uh, my understanding and interpretation of uh, Ikeda Sensei's uh, um, take on this particular point is that it has the potential to gather in uh, and draw in uh, excess heat, particularly that which is uh, occurring in the upper body. So it's uh, uh, the tonification technique most definitely in this case for a gathering or an astringent effect. Um, if we disperse liver 1 where we have the opposite effect. So if we're tonifying liver 1 we're looking to retract the heat down out of the upper part of the body. This can be very very handy uh, in uh, when there's uh, fever conditions and excess heat in the liver. Um, the next question, how do we make the decision? Well, we've just gone through that. Um, then Ella finally finishes her post, uh, an incredible post actually, in asking uh, when do we use the low points liver 5 and gallbladder 37? Uh, <clears throat> uh, liver 5, uh, being the low point, there's a connection between the liver and the gallbladder meridian and then gallbladder 37 being the low point, there's a connection between the gallbladder and the liver meridian. So we're interacting the uh, energetic principles of the, both the yin and yang aspect of wood or the liver gallbladder complex. Uh, so, uh, uh, in tonifying liver 5, uh, where there is also a strong potential, as a result of being the low point, uh, to tonify the gallbladder meridian. And this could be the same, could be said for gallbladder 37, uh, by tonifying the yang of the gallbladder, uh, the, the the yang partner of the liver meridian, the gallbladder meridian, we can also bring about some strong tonification 
um, of the liver gallbladder complex. So if we were using the low points of the liver and gallbladder meridian together, this would be a way in which we could uh, uh, tonify the yang qi of liver and gallbladder or the blood. Uh, that's about all I've got to say for Ella's post. It's been um, two weeks since I first started answering her forum post and I, I'd really like to close in saying um, how much we appreciate uh, such an awesome post, Ella. Great. I hope the answers have been satisfactory for you and to those of you that have watched this video, I really appreciate your attention and your commitment. And, and Alan from World Acupuncture saying, see you later. Thanks a lot. Bye. And I would also like to add, please feel free to come and join us uh, at worldacupuncture.com. Uh, very reasonably, it's a very reasonably priced site, and we are bringing online courses that will earn CUE points or professional development education points. Uh, we'll be starting this week, so take advantage of it. Please come and visit us once again. Cheers.